In this video, we're going to discuss how to set up a study to have a screening arm and assign individuals to arms after that point. So again, we're in our same longitudinal test project. We've got longitudinal studies enabled. We're going to take a few steps to enable these events or enable this feature. First is we're going to click on define my events and we're going to set up an arm and I will call this screening arm because I actually want this to be arm one. I'm going to do a little bit of juggling. I'm going to say at time point one and I'll call it screen. Add new event. We can go over to arm one. Rename arm one. I'll assign this to be four as a placeholder. And now I'll set my screening arm as arm one. Set this to be one. And now we've got our screening arm in the first position. I can then go back to my project setup and under uh, my optional modules, I need to turn off auto numbering for records. So something important to note is this will not be possible if our first questionnaire in our project is a survey being emailed out. If we're emailing out a survey, REDCap will not let survey participants assign their own record numbers. And that's in part because the record number needs to be unique for each individual. That's how REDCap can tell each individual row is a separate, uh, separate individual in the project. But as long as the first questionnaire is not a, um, a survey, we should be fine to go. One additional thing I need to do is for my screening arm, make a given form a possible to fill out. So I'll just do this first one and hit save. And now as I go into add edit records, instead of the green button for add edit records, we can see we can type in our own record ID. So for the for right now, I'll hit one, two, three, and I'll hit enter. We'll imagine this is our screening form. So we'll fill it out quickly, save and exit. And now to assign that individual, let's say they've been screened to a given arm. We can click on add edit records and now I can assign them to arm, for example, arm two. If I type in one, two, three and hit enter, so the same record number, we'll note we get a warning that exists on another arm, but we're now able to assign them to both the screening arm and a given arm in our project. If I jump back to project setup, I'll also note there is this randomization module. And I'll note this is a feature that really should be used in conjunction with a statistician or an individual who has expertise in randomization. But if I click on randomization module, it says that it's enabled here. And then I need to go to my user rights. I'm gonna go ahead and click on my own name. I'm the only individual on this project and edit user privileges. And when I do that, I can scroll down and see I have options for the ability to set up, view a, a dashboard of randomization and uh, randomize here. And when I hit save, now I can go back to project setup and I can scroll down and I can set up my randomization module here. If I click on set up a randomization, we have options for stratified by site or on a given field to set up our module. Let's just for right now, click on, they'll be randomized if they've eaten nachos. And we can hit save, we'll say okay. Then we have the ability to download a, uh, a allocation table here and eventually upload down at the bottom. Again, this is a feature that is primarily, should be used with an individual with expertise in randomization really just showing here how to enable this, since this is not an area that I personally have expertise in. We can also view when we've enabled the dashboard, any allocations will appear here uh, within our project. 